Hey there, Moonies! Welcome back to Witches the Moon! Can you guess this week's topic? That's right! It's Bessums! What is a Bessum, you asked? I'm glad you A Bessum is simply any kind of a broom. In this case, it can be just a regular broom you buy in the store. This is one that the lovely Lady Grave Dancer provided me at a ritual we did at her house. And then it could be something a little more elaborate, such as this, which is <sighs> sweet grass. It was harvested during the first uh, supermoon of 2015. It was constructed during the second um, supermoon and carved during the third supermoon. And they put exactly what I wanted on it. So a besom is any kind of a broom that provides a magical tool for you. Now, why is a besom important? Well, a besom is actually an embodiment of both the female, looks like an evil, and the male aspects of the divine. It was also a way for people to disguise their magical tools back in a time when practicing openly was not appreciated. So a, it is probably one of the most important tools that you can have in your arsenal and it is used primarily for cleansing but that's not the only thing that a besom is used for a besom is a symbol of the hearth and the household so it can be very very important as a symbol and magic used to protect your home or any place in which you habitate so an apartment or your office if you spend a lot of time at your office you may want a besom to represent that that is an extension of your home. And so you would place a besom um, around the door, above the door usually, to provide protection in your home and spiritual cleansing. So anytime you use a besom, you could use it to clean. Now, I was taught, and this may be different than others, but when you are using a besom to cleanse your spiritual space, you go vittershins, meaning you go counterclockwise three times, and you would usually encant something. Uh, the one that I was taught was um, sweep, sweep, sweep away all negativity, go away. Hold on. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Ah, sweep, sweep, sweep the ground. All negativity here is bound. Oh, um, gosh, I'm having a brain fart today, guys. It's like 8.30. I've been working all day. I have a shit ton more work to do. So, oh, sorry, YouTube's going to ding me. A poop ton more of work to do, uh, and I'm totally losing it. I don't even remember what I say. Sweep, sweep, sweep the ground. All negativity here is bound. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just totally out of it. I'm sure many of you probably know that enchantment, but... Oh, now it's going to jump Sweep, sweep, sweep the ground. All negativity here is bound. I uh, I can't remember it, but I'm sure many of you do. So um, if anybody can think of it, go ahead and feel free to fill in the blanks. Something about all negativity here is bound. Uh, vanish all that is profane. All right, good remain. There you go. Sweep, sweep, sweep the ground. All negativity here is bound. Vanish all that is profane. Only right and good remain. So there you go. That's the enchantment. I don't know if I gave myself a little time to think of it. Um, but in any case, uh, you can really say anything that you want to. Uh, sometimes I'll change it up, and I use a similar enchantment when I'm in the bath, too, and I'm, because I don't take baths, I take showers, so that I can envision all the negativity just draining off and going out. But a besom is a tool that is designed not just for cleansing, but also protection and uh, remembrance of the heart and the home. As said, it was a way that they could disguise their magical tools, because the handle of the broom could also be used as a wand. So, you know, they would like the small brooms, they would have a small broom that they would say was like their hearth broom, pull that out and therefore use that as a wand. Now, my besom, um, I definitely told them that I did not want any metal in the construction because as you can see, uh, a core broom like this has metal around the binding here, and that's not anything bad or negative, it's just that Metal does conduct energy, therefore, you know, because it conducts, you don't want anything to interfere with the energy that you're trying to create in your spell casting. So I like having a broom that is bound by, uh, simply by the, this is a twine. Uh, 
and it was hand woven, hand carved, everything. So I would use this. Now, where does the idea of a witch flying on a broom come from? Well, Get ready for a little R-rated story here, kids. So if you have young children, I recommend you turn the video off here for a few minutes and then come back or just leave it and start back up, okay? Uh, basically, uh, back in the olden days, they would use the handle of the broom to stimulate themselves in certain sensitive areas after coating it with flying mirrors because certain membranes and tissues are very thin. And so they would often have hallucinogenic dreams in which they were flying. So that's the idea of where our image actually came from. Now, you may be familiar with the tradition of jumping the broom. If uh, my recollection is good, you'll have to pardon the idiot dog that's making all the noise in the background. He's whimpering because I put him in his crate because the other dog here likes to attack him. So he, and he knew I was doing this video, so like my husband, he wants to be annoying and interrupt me. Um, essentially, that tradition, as I recall, was that it was kind of like a threshold magic type of thing. Jumping the broom means you're jumping over the threshold, which is being protected by the broom. I'm not sure if that's exactly correct. If it's not, feel free to correct me, but that's what I was taught. But that is one form of best magic, jumping the broom. It's supposed to bring blessings to the bride and groom to their household. So, again, a broom related to the household, related to cleansing. You can use it to cleanse the spiritual space. You can use it to cleanse your home. A lot of times when I am sweeping the floor, I will do that just in my house. And I'll try to get all of that out the door. So what I'll do is I will start sweeping at the front and sweep towards the back of the door of the house. Or if I'm up here in the front, the front door is right over here, I will sweep this way. And I try to make sure that I'm standing such that it's always going counterclockwise to me. And I will sweep it right on out the door. But it doesn't have to be actual dirt or anything like that. You can use it to spiritually cleanse the space, meaning if you're imagining that as you're sweeping, all the negative energy and bad stuff around you is being swept out and done. So that is one form of Bessem magic. Um, I have used Bessem magic in a couple of different ways. Also, like small brooms. I have a to grab one. My husband got me two small cinnamon brooms and I have one hanging by the staircase and I use that sometimes just as a symbolic protection of my home but also I have used small besoms like that to keep people away from me at work that I did not like. People whose energy I did not feel comfortable with or did not make me feel welcome or at home. I would take um, a picture of that person and sweep it with the broom uh, counterclockwise. You know, um, and I would change the enchantment from sweep, sweep, sweep the ground. I would say sweep, sweep, sweep away negativity from this day. All this person here, from this person here is bound on negativity. Here is ground. And I would say something like that. So it's the same kind of enchantment. It's all in that same mirror, but I would change it up to kind of suit the situation. So I would actually be sweeping the face picture of the person, or I would sweep from my desk to their direction, you know, counterclockwise if possible. And that was one way that I could keep uh, the bad people away from me. Or the people that annoyed me and just, that I didn't like. So it can be used to protect you outside of just your household. So, not kitties is best magic. Appreciate it.